Hello everyone, this is Janet with a tutorial for the Wild Orchid Crafts and the Wild Bunch. I wanted to do a tutorial on my chicken wire hearts. I've had a few people ask for a tutorial on that and I um, no, haven't done too many tutorials so bear with me here. Um, I, the supplies that I used were chicken wire. Um, this is actually aviary wire from just my local hardware store and some kind of template to use or you can freehand cut it. A good pair of wire cutters, it makes the job a lot easier. I invested in these when I bought the chicken wire and it's been well worth the investment. A little bit of paint, some embossing powders, and I have some washi tape and an assortment of Wild Orchid Crafts goodies for embellishing. Now, um, I will put the links for everything down below, the product numbers, but I'm not going to take time to go through that while I'm doing the tutorial, so hopefully this won't take too awful long. So anyway, I'm just going to just hold my pattern up here and take my wire cutters and just snip the wire right around the heart. And it doesn't have to be exact, it'll, it'll turn out fine. So I'm just going to go snip. all of the pieces here. Just like this, be careful of the pokey edges when you're doing this. That is one reason I put the tape on the edge so that the edges won't poke out and hurt anybody. Okay, just get rid of that piece. You don't need your template anymore. So now you just have the chicken wire heart and you just take some tape and just you're going to run two layers, one on the top and one on the bottom, just in the heart shape and you kind of have to gather it around the I don't know if you can see that there. Um, you kind of have to gather it around the edges here to make it work. But you just do it by your free hand there. Take a pair of scissors and cut down here. The um, washi and tissue tape sometimes doesn't like to stick real well. Um, and that's why I do the two layers and also then sometimes at the end you have to use a little hot glue to make it work. But we we'll, we will get it going and then here I'm going to start on the other edge down here and just go around like this. wanted to all come up so I'm just going to stick it back down again and then I'm going to turn it over and put another layer on the back and if the some of the pokey edges stick out that is okay we can go by and trim them later that is not a problem at all it's just kind of a random project so it doesn't have to be perfect and just kind of overlap and fold over around the corners okay and when you put that second layer on it holds it a lot better and you can even put a third layer on if it needs it so I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame there Here, I want that. I want the chicken wire in the middle of the tape. Okay. 
Okay, and then you can go back around the edges and trim off any pieces of wire like that. And like that. Like over here. Oh, that was just a... Okay, and then I'm going to trim off some of the pieces of tape to make it a little more finished. Okay. And if a little sticky is showing like there, right there, it's okay because when you do the embossing on it, it will end up getting on that. Okay, so there is the heart. Then I'm going to take a paintbrush. Let's see. Okay, and I'm just going to randomly put on a little white paint. And I even put it on the, the washi tape. I like I kind of like that look of just the way it's going to get the embossing powder all over the whole thing. And I also just want a few little dabs of pink here and there. Oh, maybe I got a little too much there. I'll put some more white up there. Maybe a little more pink in here. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my Distress Powder. I mean, this is the Tim Holtz one. And I am just going to lay that in there and I'm going to pour I'm actually going to put a little bit of this one on. This is the uh, La Mode uh, Copper, just for a little shine in some of the other areas. So I'm going to kind of mix the two a little bit. And when I put the other back in the, that jar, it'll be mixed a little bit. That's okay, because I like it that way. And then I'll dump it in here and kind of pat it, pat it down to get all of that paint. And then I'll get a wet wipe <laughs> and I will get my embossing gun. And I will heat set it. I tried to have all the supplies, but it's going to be good. So then I'm just going to move that out of the way. I got that pretty good and there was like a little piece here that's got a little bit more than I want so I'll just take that off and this little piece here is kind of coming up so I think I'm just gonna put a little glue right in there and hold that down and I'll use my little okay Alrighty, now I'm going to stop the video right here, and I will be right back. Okay, now I'm going to attach the wire that I put to hang the heart. And I already put some beads on some wire, and I just set them in place by using a little bit of glossy accents, just right in the middle of the beads, and then slid them on the wire. I wanted those to be dry by the time that I used them. So I'm just going to slip that through the tape, just kind of poke it through there, and then just make 
the, actually I don't think I want it there, I think I want it over a little bit. Okay. So I think I'm going to make it about like that, so then I'm just going to take my wire and twist it. up and around here, like this, and then around the other wire, and then twist it a couple of times. So it's nice and sturdy. And then I will cut that off with the wire cutters. And then I will do the same to this side. And so I'm just putting the wire around like that, putting it to the back, and then just trimming it off. And I, I can trim more later, but I just want to get the idea going here. So that is the hanger. And we can always cover that up with embellishments or whatever. And then to embellish, I'm going to start by putting this half fat pearls around the edge just with the glue gun. So let me move that out of the way. So I'm just going to put And if you go back to my other videos, you'll see I did these in all the different ways. This is one of the ones that I made. I made several different ones. And it's so fun because you can just use different embellishments, just little scraps you have left over from other projects. And it doesn't really take hardly any supplies. And you can make it into a card or just a hanging piece. You could do it for any holiday or occasion. It would be fun to even make up a Halloween one or a Christmas one would be fun too to hang as an ornament to hang on the tree. So that would work good. And I think I'm just going to cut this off here and start the other direction. I don't think I ended up putting this trim on the others, but I thought it would be something a little bit different and look nice. And that also helps to cover any little, maybe, things that didn't come out quite right on the tape. So, so far, that's how that looks. Now I'm just going to take some of this Gapure lace, and I'm going to kind of bunch it up like that, and glue it right on here. kind of in a kind of fan effect there. I want the chicken wire to show, but then I have a little bit of a embellishment. And then I'm going to take some of this lace and make kind of a little bow, just like this and like this. And I'm going to take a little teeny piece of wire. See, I don't want it too big. Got it too big there. Okay, maybe about like that. 
wrap the wire around like this. That way I don't have to have a bunchy center with the thicker lace and then it ends up still coming out to be a nice bow. And I think with these I will cut the edges on the diagonal like that, just fold them together, cut them like that. Same with this side, fold them together, cut it on the diagonal, and you have a real nice finished edge. And I'm going to glue that right on there. And these are all, this lace and all of this is from Wild Orchid Crafts, all of these products, and the product numbers will be down below. Okay, and I also want to add some of the pink silk ribbon. This stuff is so beautiful. And I'm going to do it the same way that I did the crocheted lace and just make it, actually I still got it a little big. Just need a little bit of a bow. Nice background for my beautiful wild orchid craft flowers that are going to go on top. Okay, and you can just kind of move it around to make it work. And then here again, I will cut them the same way. Same for this one. Okay, and I'll just stick that maybe in a diff little bit different direction, going this other way, like that. And then I'm just going to add, I'm going to add a little piece of um, metal embellishment right here. My glue gun doesn't seem to want to be working, of course. I'm trying to... There it goes. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to put an off-white flower on top of that. And then another pink flower on the edge, like that, looking very pretty. Of course we have lots of glue strands, and I wanted to use some of these hip roses. I probably should have put them in first. That's what I'll do. I'm just going to tuck them under here. I know what I'll do. I'll just, I have them kind of tied together with the wire. I'm just going to stick some glue right on here if the glue will work. There we go. And I'm going to stick that right in underneath there, like that. And I also wanted to use one of these cute little puppies. So I think I'm going to stick that right in here. And I also had a little piece from the Prima Printery collection that says Friends. I'm going to stick that right in there. And then I also wanted to put a cameo in, but I'm going to take off this top of the cameo. These great snippers. And I'm going to stick it right in here. There is my finished. I don't know if you can see it very well. Move this out of the way. 